In today's video, I'm gonna show you a horse that appears to have had a laminitic attack. So this particular horse is on a, <laughs> this, is, this is Clover, my barn kitty. Um, this particular horse's feet that we were looking at, she's on a grass hay diet. She gets regular exercise, nothing strenuous, and she's ridden in soft sand, and she does not have any pasture grasses that she's eating. She's strictly on hay with 24-7 turnout. Just to give you an idea as to, you know, what this horse's lifestyle is like. Okay, this horse is getting her hooves trimmed today. She just got trimmed. And what's interesting, I want you to notice this ring that goes around her hoof and it's on every foot okay so now what this is this is a indication that there was laminitis and like you can even see from here that what it does on the side there um, basically, I'm going to explain this in extremely simple terms, and if you want to know more about laminitis, I recommend Googling it or talking to your farrier or vet. But basically, this shows us that there was some sort of swelling inside the horse's foot, and that's what causes this. Now, if the swelling were to continue, because this, this shows us that it was brief, but if the swelling were to continue, that's where a horse can founder because it cuts off the blood supply to the hoof. And when they founder, that causes the hoof wall to disconnect. And again, if you want to learn more about founder, oh, <laughs> kitty photo bummer. <laughs> um, if you want to learn more about founder, you can search that as well. Okay, so looking at the hoof, a hoof, this will grow out, this is about nine months, okay? So they'll grow a whole new hoof every nine months. The halfway point is about here. So this is about two months ago or so. Now, we did have some changes in some hay, and we also had, the horses had their, their teeth done, and they also had rabies vaccines. So that could have caused this. Basically anything that is changed in a horse's diet or within them, can cause these kind of rings. So this is just a good example. You know, go look at your horse's feet. And if you see multiple rings like this, you know, it's a good idea to think, what is going on with my horse that's causing this? A good place that you can go if you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff too is hoofrehab.com. You'll be able to read all sorts of things related to the, to the hoof. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it interesting and that you learned something. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to give it a like so I know what kind of information you'd like to see on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.